Hello my darlings, it's so nice to have you back here for another mini vlog. Not doing too much today, but I thought let me just share what I'm doing anyway. Starting off my day by making my breakfast smoothie. It's one of those smoothies that I make where I don't really plan on making breakfast. So I tend to do an all-in-one smoothie and it's really, really yummy. So I start by adding one banana to my blender, followed by two heaping tablespoons of oats. Then I'm going to go in with some chia seeds, really yummy. And I'm just going to add some to the blender as well. Go in with some peanut butter. You can add as little or as much as you like. It's really up to you, but I like to add a generous amount for that nice peanut butter flavor. Then I go in with some almond milk and I blend this up till it's nice and smooth and creamy. And yes, my darlings, it's literally one of those things that I make every now and again when I don't plan on making any breakfast. Baby is down with a little bit of a cold, so he's super clingy. So these breakfasts are like the best. So yeah, please try this breakfast smoothie. As you can see, the texture is really nice. It's really thick. So it's really filling and just absolutely delicious. Once I was finished with my smoothie, did a little balancing with baby, and then I actually went ahead and obviously show you guys me enjoying my smoothie. And baby was here looking through my shopping. He's my little helper these days. These days he's been learning to stand on his own. He's got a little bit of a cold going on, but yeah, he's just been learning to stand, and it's just been really amazing. I think he's trying to impress us by walking by his birthday this month. Yes, my darling. So here I've got some goat meat and I've I've already cleaned it with some lemon juice and vinegar i'm seasoning with a little bit of salt black pepper some all-purpose seasoning some fresh turmeric from the caribbean i'm also gonna add three different types of curry powder today and i'm also gonna add my fresh seasonings because yes i love my fresh seasoning so i'm going in with some onion some garlic spring onion some thyme all of that good stuff i also had about a quarter of a red bell pepper in my fridge and i wanted to use it up because as you know bell pepper tends to go bad so quickly and also a little secret that i've been adding to my curries lately is some freshly grated ginger i find that it makes the curry so much more intense and the flavor is just so good it also helps to cut back on any freshness or rawness of the meat and i think you should really try it once my meat is seasoned i'm gonna go ahead and just mix it in well gonna let it marinate it was about 11 o'clock this morning when i was uh, seasoning this so it's gonna be nicely marinated for later in the evening because i probably won't start making dinner till about three o'clock just when the boys are coming back from school As you can see, my meat is beautifully seasoned. Gonna let it marinate, like I said. And once the time was up, it was about two o'clock, I think. I went ahead with my pot and I added in some oil. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the meat in. As you can see, it's beautifully seasoned. Just add it to the hot oil, okay? And then I'm gonna mix it up and pop the lid on. After about 10 minutes, it's gonna start springing up its own juices. So no need to add in any liquid as yet. But yes, cover it up and let it spring its own juices. So after about 5-10 minutes as you can see the meat has sprung its own gorgeous juices and I'm just gonna go ahead now and add about three to four cups of water now I don't need to add anything in this it's literally all my seasonings and everything have been added so I don't really need to add any more but I'm gonna add two scotch bonnet peppers two bay leaves cover this up for about two hours on the lowest heat in the meantime I was working on some mac and cheese so I had my pasta boiling in the pot and then I just grated my cheese drained my pasta made a quick cheese sauce added my pasta and everything and i'm gonna top that off with some more of that freshly grated cheese there's a little secret if you want your pasta top to be nice and crispy and really beautiful instead of using the packet cheese you can go ahead and just grate your own it melts so much better trust me so pop that into the oven to bake for about 30 to 40 minutes after about 40 minutes this is how it looks it came out gorgeous guys i don't play about my mac and cheese and this one is no exception it looks so yummy
last on the menu i've got some fried plantains i got these two plantains in my pantry i wanted to use it up before it goes bad but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and peel it and then slice it into some nice thick chunks guys when the plantain is like this it is at its sweetest okay it's at its ripest sweetest yummiest stage and it's literally one of my favorite times to fry my plantains okay please don't mind my hands i'm not gonna cut it okay <laughs> and yes darling so whilst i was cutting my plantains my eldest boy came and have a look because he was just like mommy when is food gonna be ready i can smell this gorgeous curry and all this niceness happening and i just want an update give me an update how long till dinner is ready he didn't look too impressed because i told him i still had some more plantains to do but hey it's fine the plantains only take about five minutes and it was all good so yes this is my gorgeous plantains frying away you can see the sweetness through the screen and i know you just want to grab two and just pop it in some bread and just eat it like that so yummy now that everything is cooked the curry goat is cooked i didn't need to add any more liquid or anything to it i literally just let this cook low and slow for about two hours because i was using fresh goat meat and yes my darlings it's time to plate it up go in with some rice i just you know boiled a little rice on the side i find we eat rice quite a lot to be fair it's just one of those things that it's just a go-to really my boys really like it and we don't mind so yeah go in and add your rice add some pasta add some of that gorgeous curry so nice it looks so ooh, so yummy add some of that curry gravy and am i the only one who likes my gravy over everything put it over the mac and cheese put it over the rice just drown the food in the gravy okay now for the plantains you know we have to go heavy handed on the plantain okay heavy handed i garnished with some spring onions and you know what i forgot some avocado man i had none on hand and you know this is not like me but yeah this was my typical day i didn't really plan to vlog but i did and i'm happy i did it's quarter past five we're ready to have dinner baby is here looking all <laughs> cute and yeah i really hope you enjoy this quick vlog not too much going on but i really hope you enjoyed it regardless it's been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen and i'll see you again in my next one thank you for watching Bye bye